Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In a couple of previous videos, I used a tape measure as a source of mechanical power. So what I did is to remove the uh, metallic tape and in place I put a thread. And now in this video, I want to use this to power a toy car. And what I want to do is to attach the thread to the rear axle so that uh, it will wind in the axle and then when the inner spring of the tape measure makes the, the thread return the wheels will rotate making the car go forward so let's see how that works the first thing I will do is to put this pair of wooden circles at the center of the axle in order to guide the thread, maintain it in the center, therefore avoiding the thread from spreading out all over the axle. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. So the thread will be glued here in the axle so we need to make a hole in the plastic because the tape measure will be here on top and also we need um, a pulley here in order to guide the thread to the axle. Okay, here it is. I fixed it with some epoxy and I also made a hole for the thread to go through. At the top we also need some type of roller for the thread to go there and then through the hole. Okay, so it is ready. As you can see, here is the thread that goes to the rear axle therefore when we make the axle turn the thread winds in the axle and move the wheels so let's now see if it has enough force to move the little truck As you could see, the truck barely moves, that means that the force is not enough to move it. And one possible solution is to increase the diameter of the axle, because that will increase the torque on the wheels. The cost of doing that, of course, is that since we have a larger diameter, the total number of turns that we can give to the wheels will be smaller. Let's see. Remember the concept of torque, which is the equivalent of force for rotational movement. Torque is defined as the product of force times distance. Now, here we have the axle of the rear wheels. The distance is the radius of the axle. And here we have the thread that is connected to the tape measure and there is a force exerted on the thread which is due to the spring of the tape measure. Now, in order to increase the torque, 
we can increase the force or the distance or both. However, the force is constant because that force comes from the spring of the tape measure, but we can increase the distance making the axle thicker. I put some tape on the axle so now the diameter is approximately double than the original diameter. So let's try again. Okay, it seems that we now have more force. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. If that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for coming and see you in the next video.